Hi everybody, this is Carlos. In today's video, we're gonna go over IV therapy, adding medication to IV mini bag, reconstitution and administration. Start by checking your doctor's orders. Now check your MAR. Gather your materials. Which includes the correct medication. Normal saline or sterile water to dissolve the medication, the dilutant. An IV mini bag. A needle and a syringe. A secondary IV tubing. Notice it's shorter and it comes with a hook. A medication label. Check your medication against the mark. Do your three checks and your ten rights. Perform hand hygiene. For each vial, pay attention to the amount of dilute needed to be added, which must be exact, and the concentration of the drug after dissolving, usually in milligrams per milliliter. Remove the protective caps from the vials. Clean the tops of both vials with an alcohol swab. Get your syringe and needles ready. Twist the needle onto the syringe. We draw the amount of air equal to the amount of dilutant needed from the medication vial. From our example, it is 7.5 milliliters of air. Now inject the air into the vial with the dilutant. Flip the vial upside down. We draw the same amount of dilutant equivalent to the amount of air you just put in. For our example, it will be 7.5 milliliters of dilutant. If you start to get air, then make sure that the tip of your needle is submerged in the dilutant. Lightly tap the syringe to dislodge any air bubbles. Inject the dilutant into the medication vial. Recap your needle for reuse.
Check the vial to mix medication thoroughly. Now draw the order amount of medication. For example, our order is 300 milligrams. Our concentration is 100 milligrams per one milliliter. Therefore, we're gonna pull out three milliliters. Inject three milliliters of air into the medication vial in order to remove the three milliliters of medication in exchange. Tap your needle until ready to add medication to the mini bag. Grab the IV mini bag and clean the injection port with an alcohol swab. Inspect the mini bag for leaks, correct solution, expiry date, etc. Inject the medication from the syringe into the mini bag. Put the bag down on a flat surface. Lock your needle properly and dispose in the sharps container. Immediately after, write your medication label with the name of the drug, dosage in milligrams, date, time, and your initials. One more check to make sure it's the right medication. Now attach the medication label onto the mini bag. Gently mix the medication in the bag. Grab your secondary IV tubing. Find a pre-cut line and tear package open from there. Remove the tube in. Notice that the drop factor is written in the bag. It's 10 drops per one milliliter. Straighten out the secondary IV tube in, check in for kinks and defects. Move the roller up until just below the drip chamber and close the clamp. Remove the blue cover and insert the spike into the mini bag. Now use the hook to lower the primary bag below the level of the mini bag.
Squeeze the chamber in the mini bag to fill medication to the line, but no more than half the chamber. Remove the cap from the tip and open the roller slowly to prime the secondary line. Once primed, cap the tip until ready to attach to the primary line. Now find the uppermost port on the primary line, clean it, and then twist on the secondary line tip onto this port. Once attached, open the roller from the secondary line. I'm going to show you a variation method called reverse priming for your secondary IV tubing. After spiking the mini bag, hang it up on the IV pole. Clean the uppermost port in the primary line and attach the secondary line there and open the roller clamp. To reverse prime the secondary line, all you need to do is lower the mini bag below the primary bag. Let's take a look at our example. Our order is oxacillin 300 mg IV over 30 minutes. Notice how I added the 3 milliliters of the medication into the mini bag's 50 milliliter volume for a total of 53 milliliters. I got from my calculations 18 drops in one minute or about five drops per 15 seconds. This is very important to remember. You're going to use the primary line roller to set the rate even for the secondary line. Do not use the small roller in the secondary line anymore. On this try, the infusion was too fast. Let's try it again. I think we got it, but let's double check. First drop starts the timer. One drop. Two drops, three drops, four drops, five drops. Label your secondary IV line. Lastly, document your medication administration on your MAR. For your documentation, make sure you sign the correct medication of your MAR at the correct time and monitor the patient's response to the medication by checking on them frequently. Please keep practicing and thank you for watching.